Salam alaikum and peace and blessing be upon all of you. As we are witnessing that in Sweden they burn the Holy Quran, but today we found out that they wanted to burn the Taurat or the Torah and they were stopped. So let's think about this. From one end, when it comes into Islam and Holy Quran, it's an open season and they can do anything they want. But when it comes into Torah, burning that book, uh, they were stopped while they burned the Quran under the protection of the police department. First and foremost, as a Muslim, we condemn burning any holy book. I mean, that's, and even in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that make sure that we don't say anything bad about their gods, whichever gods or whatever way that they believe. I mean, that's, that allegedly it's, uh, Allah told us that. And Allah also told us that when we speak to Jews and Christians, we you know we should speak with a good tone and uh, also uh, don't talk in a bad way about whichever gods that they believe, as I mentioned. But on the other hand, when it comes into other people, they just simply want to burn our holy book, Quran Karim, which we believe is 100% the word of the creator of the universe based on modern science, biology, chemistry, physics, math, astronomy, modern medicine, dead on accurate. So it's unfortunate that we, uh, it's actually, it's, it, we love Jesus, Moses, Abraham, David, and Solomon. And unfortunately, on the other hand, they are burning the Quran Karim, which is the last and final message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Abrahamic book that was sent down untouched via Archangel Gabriel or Jibreel to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. We simply believe that the other books were touched by humanity. You know, the Quran Karim or Islam talks in detail about Injil, Zabur, and Taurat, which are the original names of the Old and New Testament. But as a Muslim, we simply don't believe in the versions of John, the downgrade of John, Paul, Luke, and King James, because we simply believe that is the word of man with tons of contradiction. Uh, and we personally believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our God does not make any mistakes in his book. So when we see mistakes in the Bible, not only mistakes, contradiction, numeric contradiction, or when a story is told to us in one page in one way, the same story contradicts itself which one of them, Jehovah Chen, in one page, he says they're 24 years old, and the other page, it tells you completely different as far as his age goes or the story itself. Uh, so, because of the contradiction in the Old and New Testament, we believe that the Injil and Zabur and Taurat, which all three of them in Europeans are and Western countries are called the Old and New Testament. We believe those books have been corrupted by humanity. It was written by man and it was touched by man. And John, Paul, Luke, and King James, uh, on the day of judgment, we want to stay away as far as possible from those individuals because they had their own agenda and they put an add-on their own words and their own agenda 
on those books. And this is a fact. Uh, everybody knows uh, this if you have studied uh, the Bible. But unlike the Bible and the Holy Quran, Karim, not only that it's 100% based on modern science, it's accurate, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenged us in the Holy Quran if that you will not be able to not only find one mistakes, but also the Quran Karim will enter every house on planet earth. And if you don't think this is the word of God, then he has challenged us to write one chapter or one page like it and use all the people that are smart around you, including your computers. Nobody has accepted that challenge. Nobody has written uh, anything like it and nobody ever will be able to. So now let's get back into this Quran burning. As we love Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, and you will not be considered a Muslim unless if you believe in Jesus or Moses or Abraham or David or Solomon, because all those characters are in depth and detail in the Quran and the end and in the Hadith of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him. It's really unfortunate that as much as we love Jesus or Moses or all the Abrahamic characters, on the other hand, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, is a direct descendant of Abraham, peace and blessing be upon him. And I am a direct descendant of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, as I go 47 grandfather directly to him. So... It's as it's absolutely it's upsetting to see how much we respect and love the Christians and the Jews, the, the true Jews, the true Christians, while they are burning the Quran Karim. But not I just found out that not only they obviously burn the Quran under the protection of the police in Sweden, but also uh, there was another person that who wanted to burn the Torah or the Torah in front of Israel embassy and he was stopped. If you are talking about freedom of speech and freedom of right, then I don't understand that why all across the board we are not enforcing it that unfortunately it's always an open season on Muslims. But the reality of it is, folks, is it really doesn't matter that how much they try to burn the Quran, Karim. The Quran is always in our heart. There are millions of people that have memorized the Holy Quran in heart. And every single day they are tens of thousands of people just in America that are working to memorize the Holy Quran in their heart, including myself and so many others. And around the world, there are hundreds of thousands of people that every single year memorizing the Holy Quran. And because I work with converts, I see it myself personally that how even some of the people that who are converting to Islam and they are their uh, mother tongue is English. They are going to Saudi Arabia to study the Holy Quran with proper tajweed, which it means that the way that the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him, the way he opened his mouth, the way he talked, and the way exactly he pronounced it, that's how they are pronouncing the Quran and Karim and they're learning it 100% based on the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So please, first of all, don't burn the Quran. But if you even burn the Quran, the Quran and Karim is in our hearts and no one will be able to get it out of our heart. As, as many Quran as you burn, there are more and more people that are coming to our beautiful religion of Islam. May Allah peace and blessing be on you, and may Allah help the hypocrites. Peace and blessing.